So Saturday night and Sunday morning. Um, yeah, kind of the, the film that they say, you know, really launched Albert Finney's career here. And, uh, and it's a damn good role. Um, Finney essentially plays this, this working man, um, Arthur, who, you know, he, he's kind of, he's kind of disillusioned with the world. You know, he, he works really hard at his job and he feels like he, you know, he, there's not enough credit in the world. Like he feels like he's not getting his fair share. Like he doesn't feel like, you know, like, th like there's much future for him. Uh, he looks at his elders who are basically kind of, you know, they've kind of worked hard and now they're just kind of like couch potatoes. Um, he, he just, he hates this idea of, you know, just being this kind of guy who keeps just working to stay safe. I um, mean, he hates that. And so once he's done working, he basically goes off causing trouble. Uh, he goes off drinking. He drinks too much. He starts stumbling around, tumbling downstairs. He starts spilling drinks on people, starts insulting people. Uh, he starts sleeping around with different women, uh, w women who have wives. Um, he gets in trouble when he actually gets one of them pregnant. Um, and doesn't quite know what to do after that. And he, and he gets into fights. Lots and lots and lots of fights. He's a, he's a troubled guy. And other the fact that, like, they don't really... how It's just kind of like one of those films that kind of, like, you know, observe, you know, this kind of character who's kind of gone down this path like like they're revealed quite a few times we're basically saying like you know oh you're, you're troubled you know you need help and he essentially just kind of says like well you know i don't want help i i i don't want to be told you know what i have to change about myself like i want to you know he, he basically wants independence he says like you know i want to be my own man i want to you know i want to change the way that i want to change and that may involve me just being destructive just, you know, just wanting to lash out. Like, he finds different ways to lash out. Sometimes it's as brutal as, you know, getting into fights. Sometimes it's, you know, like, it's romantic. Like, he gets involved with, like, women who are married. Sometimes it's violent. Why well, went <laughs> he did get into fights. But sometimes it's even more violent um, when he starts, like, a, well, it's more childish violent. He starts, like, shooting BBs out, out his window at people. Um, he starts playing pranks on people, like, in, in the factory that he works at. He'll, like, he'll find a dead rat on the ground and kind of, like, put it on someone's station, like, oh, there. And then, of course, he'll be accused of trouble, and he'll try to stay out of trouble, but he just keeps on getting into trouble. And I, and it's part of, part of the film that I love so much is that he kind of realizes that he is a troublemaker, and that he's not going to change himself, but that he doesn't want to remain that way. Like, he doesn't want to just accept the way that life is. He doesn't just want to be just kind of, like, this working stiff who feels like he he can't break out of anything like he like he doesn't just want to like you know go to work and then go home and then just you know you know pay his fair share and then that's it that's that's all there is to life he doesn't want that uh he wants to uh, he wants to kind of have like a, a better life which he fears that he might not be getting and so he's just kind of just raging against the world raging against everyone you know you know sleeping around with women getting drunk getting into fights just a, just a very destructive person um who he kind of who's not really meant too much to be the villain but kind of somebody that we try to try to look upon try to identify with you know you've probably seen like a few films like this before about just you know working class stiffs who are just you know fed up with with life you know kind of kind of similar to like falling down where you know the the main character is disillusioned by the whole world and feels like he's been wronged by it and just kind of lashes out at it um except there is no like kind of like definitive end to it here it kind of ends with arthur just realizing that you know kind of this is kind of going to be it for me i'm just going to keep raging until you know the day i die you know i'm just going to keep you know working this factory job and just kind of uh and just kind of just sleeping around and keep getting drunk but you know hey if that's me you know then that's me that's you know if there's a change that's going to happen it's going to be me it's going to be all on 